Have you ever wondered what really happens to your prostate if you masturbate every single day? For years, men have been fed half-truths and fear-filled warnings, claims that it damages your body, causes inflammation, or even raises your cancer risk. These ideas spread like wildfire online, yet most of them have zero scientific backing. Today, we're cutting through the noise because what researchers have actually discovered about frequent ejaculation is not just surprising, it's the complete opposite of what most people believe. And by the end of this video, you'll understand why this one simple, natural act might play a far bigger role in protecting your long-term health than you've ever imagined. To understand the truth about daily masturbation and its effects, you first need to know the main player in this discussion, the prostate gland. The prostate is a small, walnut-sized organ found just below the bladder and in front of the rectum. Despite its size, it plays an incredibly important role in male reproductive health. Its primary job is to produce and secrete the fluid that mixes with sperm to create semen. This fluid helps nourish and protect sperm, making it vital for fertility. The prostate surrounds a part of the urethra, the tube that carries urine and semen out of the body. Because of this position, any problem with the prostate, whether it's swelling, enlargement, or infection, can lead to uncomfortable urinary symptoms. These can include a weak urine stream, the feeling of incomplete emptying, or frequent trips to the bathroom at night. One of the most eye-opening pieces of research on prostate health came from the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health. In this large-scale study, researchers followed nearly 32,000 men over an impressive 18-year period. They collected detailed information about the men's lifestyles, medical history, and most importantly, their ejaculation frequency. When scientists analyzed the data, the results were groundbreaking. Men who reported 21 or more ejaculations per month had a significantly lower risk of developing prostate cancer compared to those who ejaculated only four to seven times per month. The difference was not small. It translated to roughly a 20 to 33% reduction in risk. This finding was a direct challenge to long-standing myths that frequent sexual activity or masturbation could harm the prostate. Instead, the evidence suggested that regular ejaculation might actually be protective, not harmful, when it comes to long-term prostate health. Supporting the Harvard study, an independent Australian research team studied over 2,000 men and observed a striking trend. Men who ejaculated more frequently, around five to seven times per week, had about a 36% lower risk of being diagnosed with prostate cancer before the age of 70, compared to those with fewer than two to three ejaculations per week. This aligns closely with the Harvard findings, reinforcing the credibility of the relationship across different cultures and populations. The consistency between both studies, from the US and Australia, lends significant weight to the protective link between frequent ejaculation and reduced prostate cancer risk. Scientists have proposed several explanations for why frequent ejaculation may protect the prostate, and each of them makes logical biological sense. The first is called the prostate stagnation hypothesis. Imagine the prostate as a system of tiny ducts or pipes. Over time, secretions, old cells, and potentially harmful substances can build up inside these ducts. Frequent ejaculation acts like a natural flushing system, clearing out waste materials before they have a chance to accumulate and cause inflammation or cellular damage. By keeping these ducts clean, the prostate stays healthier. The second theory focuses on cellular turnover. Each time cells divide, there is a small chance for a genetic error to occur, which can lead to mutations and eventually cancer. Regular ejaculation may encourage the prostate to replace old, potentially damaged cells with new, healthy ones more frequently. This constant renewal process reduces the chance of harmful mutations taking hold. A third explanation relates to stress and inflammation. Chronic stress is linked to increased levels of inflammation throughout the body, and inflammation is a known risk factor for many types of cancer, including prostate cancer. Sexual release is associated with lower stress levels, improved mood, and hormonal balance. By reducing stress, ejaculation may indirectly lower inflammatory responses in the body, creating a healthier environment for prostate cells. Some researchers also suggest hormonal factors could play a role. 
men who are sexually active more frequently may have better overall hormonal balance, which can influence prostate health. When you combine these mechanisms, duct cleansing, healthier cell turnover, and lower inflammation, the overall picture becomes clear. Frequent ejaculation is not a harmful habit, but may be one of the simplest, most natural ways to support long-term prostate health. So what actually happens to your prostate if you masturbate every single day? Based on the evidence from long-term studies, daily masturbation is not harmful to the prostate. In fact, men who ejaculated more frequently, around 21 times or more per month, had a noticeably lower risk of developing prostate cancer compared to those with fewer ejaculations. Daily masturbation offers the same benefits that researchers believe contribute to prostate protection. Each ejaculation helps flush out old fluids, dead cells, and potentially harmful substances from the prostate's ducts. This cleaning process may reduce the risk of inflammation or cellular damage. It also encourages a healthy cycle of cell turnover, meaning the prostate regularly replaces old cells with new, healthy ones, reducing the chances of mutations that can lead to cancer. There are also indirect benefits. Ejaculation is associated with a release of tension and stress relief. Lower stress levels can mean reduced overall inflammation in the body, which creates a healthier internal environment for the prostate. However, it's important to note that while the link is strong, this doesn't mean daily masturbation is a guaranteed shield against prostate cancer. The studies show correlation, not absolute cause and effect. Men who report higher sexual activity might also have healthier lifestyles overall, better diet, more exercise, and less smoking or drinking. What's clear is that masturbation, even daily, is a normal and healthy part of male sexuality. It is not wearing out the prostate, reducing sexual function, or causing disease. Instead, when combined with a healthy lifestyle and regular medical checkups, it can be part of an overall strategy for better prostate health and long-term well-being. Many videos and articles discuss the Harvard study, but they often skip over important details that give the full picture. One key point is that the study shows a correlation, not a direct cause and effect relationship. Men who ejaculated more often also tended to have healthier lifestyles overall. They might exercise more, eat better, or avoid smoking. These factors could also contribute to the reduced cancer risk. Another detail often missed is that the protective effect of frequent ejaculation appears to be stronger for lower risk, early stage prostate cancers. For more aggressive or advanced cancers, the link is weaker. That means frequent ejaculation is just one factor, not a guaranteed prevention method. There's also a limitation in how the data was collected. Participants had to recall how often they ejaculated years or even decades earlier, which leaves room for memory errors. Finally, few people talk about the fact that low ejaculation frequency has been linked to a slightly higher risk of prostate cancer in men who already have urinary symptoms or other prostate issues. By addressing these gaps, we get a more honest, evidence-based view. Masturbation can help, but it's only one part of a bigger picture for prostate health. While frequent ejaculation may support prostate health, it's only one part of the bigger picture. A balanced diet rich in vegetables, fruits, healthy fats, and lycopene-rich foods like tomatoes and watermelon can lower risk. Green tea and omega-3 rich fish like salmon also have anti-inflammatory benefits. Regular exercise helps maintain a healthy weight, which is crucial since obesity is linked to more aggressive prostate cancer. Avoiding smoking and limiting alcohol further reduce risk. Most importantly, men over 40 or with a family history should get regular checkups and PSA screenings, as early detection is the most effective way to prevent serious issues. Frequent ejaculation may support prostate health, but it's only one part of an overall strategy for reducing cancer risk. A healthy diet is crucial, especially one rich in vegetables, fruits, and healthy fats. Foods high in lycopene, such as tomatoes, watermelon, and grapefruit, have been linked to better prostate health. Green tea and omega-3 fatty acids from fish like salmon can also reduce inflammation, which plays a role in many cancers. Regular exercise, at least 30 minutes most days, helps maintain a healthy weight, and this matters because obesity is strongly linked to more aggressive prostate cancers. Quitting smoking and limiting alcohol further reduce overall cancer risk. 
Finally, no lifestyle habit replaces regular medical checkups and screenings. Men over 40 or those with a family history of prostate cancer should have routine PSA tests and other exams. Early detection remains the best way to catch prostate cancer while it's most treatable. So, what does daily masturbation really do to your prostate? Far from harming you, research shows it may actually help protect your prostate by flushing out old cells, supporting healthy cell turnover, and reducing stress. But remember, it's not a magic cure. A balanced diet, exercise, and regular checkups are just as important. If you found this video eye-opening, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next myth-busting breakdown. And tell us in the comments, what other men's health myths do you want us to investigate? Stay informed, stay healthy, and take charge of your well-being.